guys, we're out in country South Australia, out in Morgan. We're gonna be installing an off-grid setup, Victron gear, lots of panels. Let's go. Welcome back. I'm gonna run you through another really cool off-grid system that we've just finished installing. So um, we've got a Power Hub XL. So this is from our friends at Commodore Australia. So it comes pre-fitted with our Quattro 10 from Victron. Really cool setup, has everything sort of inbuilt. So all of our DC isolators, so for the PV, the batteries and the MPPT. We've got our AC switchboard pre-fitted with all really good Hager switch gear. Down here, we've installed 25 kilowatt hours of US 5000 Bs. These are Pylon Tech batteries, which have comms, which runs to our Quattro and our Servo GX for our monitoring. So it's a really cool setup. This cabinet, um, it comes inbuilt with a little air conditioner. So it's 48 volt air con, so it keeps the cabinet at an optimal sort of temperature all year round. So, you know, the Quattro can, you know, work effectively at max output. So one of the things to just note with the Victron gear is, is as the temperature rises, the um, the output will drop. Having the air con is, is really good. If you come over here, we can see already, this is on our GX Touch 50. What's really cool about this is we can see the AC load. So currently we've got really no AC loads bar the light in here. We've got our PV charger so we can see about 6.2 kilowatts coming from our 8.8 .8 kilowatt array on the roof and we can see our state of charge here of our battery so that should charge really fast we do have a integrated 13.3 kva gen set outside with auto start functionality so as soon as the batteries drop below 15 percent that'll charge it back up in sort of you know really terrible conditions or if you know the customer has large loads throughout the day or if something's going wrong with the solar so we are going to add more battery storage to this when the customer finishes off the house. The cool thing with the cabinet is we can add up to 40 kilowatt hours of storage in here. We do only have five batteries at the moment. We'll add a six one in in a few weeks and then we can add another two up there for a total of 40 kilowatt hours. So plenty of power, plenty of current that the, the customer can really pull off of it. Comes all pre-fitted with our flex 25 mil cabling with Amphenol connectors. So it's all pre-done. So it's a really good, really good unit. Makes install really easy. Probably one of the hardest things is actually getting it into the shed. Pretty big, pretty heavy unit. We'll show you outside, uh, show you the Jenny and show you the solar on the roof. So this is the Jenny, um, or the Gen Set. So 13 kVA, silence cab, auto start, diesel. Really good unit, really quiet. So at the moment, we sort of put it here just temporarily. So when the customer gets their house, we'll build something out proper for it. Has a charger sort of inbuilt into it as well. So, you know, should never have issues with the battery dying. We've integrated this really well with the Victron Quattro 10 inside. As soon as the batteries get to sort of, you know, 15 odd percent, the Jenny will auto kick in, push 40 amps of AC charge into the system and get those batteries topped up real quick. We'll go and have a look at the panels now and we'll see you out there. All right, so on the roof out here, we've got 20 Jinko 440s. These are the Neo N-type panels. 25 year warranty on these rigs. Works really well, has a super low VOC. We can string huge banks of panels to get max amount of power onto the Victron 450 200 MPPTs because we can only go to 450 volt max and get a lot of panels, a lot of power from the roof straight into, into the pylon tech. So check them out, they look awesome.